Hey everybody, welcome to the You and Family channel. And my name is Ray and I'm stressed out right now. Okay, you guys are probably gonna think that I'm super dramatic and I don't really care what y'all think. I'm stressed out about two things right now. One, everybody wants me to get rid of my bird. Okay, and my leftovers. And I just found out in my business law class, look at this. I have like 39 chapters to read y'all in eight freaking weeks eight weeks 39 chapters and that's just for one class oh my god this is bad like whatever y'all know what i'm saying oh oh my gosh oh i don't even know how many chapters i got reading the other class i don't even know it's international business okay whatever i don't know i'm stressed out but it's all gonna work out but i'm stressed out i'm really more stressed out that y'all want me to get rid of my turkey y'all want me to get rid of my leftovers and it's monday no why is it so dark oh my god i pray to god in this eight minute video all right y'all but anyways <laughs> I am frantic right now, but everything's gonna work out. So, my name is Bree. D, the other half of the Ewing family, is at work, of course. And little Mason, y'all wanna see Mason? Look at little Mason. What? Hey, say what up, vlog? As if you can speak English. You sleep, did I interrupt you? Did I interrupt your nap? Oh no, I'm sorry. But anyways, y'all, so, huh, how was y'all's Thanksgiving? I was pretty good. Hold on, let me go in my usual spot. I'm just going to chit-chat with y'all really quick because I now have, oh no, I now have a lot on my plate. But, you know, it is what it is. That's a part of being an adult. That's a part of life. But anyways, I hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. I hope... Y'all was able to eat good, spend time with family members, and just enjoy your time on that day. Um, D and I, we cooked. This is literally the first turkey. Look, this is what's left, y'all. This is what's left. Um, and then, <laughs> I didn't even eat the, that's mac and cheese. And this, really, that's gravy. And this is, um... <laughs> I've been eating this cornbread. So that's really that's left from our Thanksgiving. And I am going to part ways with it today. Okay. I tried to eat some turkey and then my gut was like, no. So I ate so much this past weekend, y'all. Like I'm so, I'm so like stuffed like i need to let this food digest and yeah because anyways before before i start eating anything new i need to let this like digest because we have some goodies for y'all to taste and before i do that i just want to you know you know let my stomach and my body like you know process it or whatever anyways but uh, y'all i am so happy i'm so happy that we were able to have a great Thanksgiving. I was about to say, my brain was thinking Christmas. But I was so happy that we were able to have a better Thanksgiving than we did last year. And I hope that y'all had each year, like, y'all's Thanksgiving get better and better. I know a lot's been going on in the world, like, a lot of sad news and stuff like that. People are losing loved ones, and my heart goes out to you all. But I just also pray that there's some sort of, like, peace that y'all have with each new day because even though we all have our own struggles and trials and tribulations we're still here so we still have a purpose so but um ah uh, can y'all believe that thanks oh my god like can y'all believe that christmas and new year's is literally around the corner like i can't i can't even like this year like the second half of this year went by so quick. The first half, well, eh, not so much. But the second half of this year, I guess as things got better for us, it just seemed like time like flew by. I don't know. Like 
I just pray that all of us have a much better 2023. And even if your 2022 was great, which uh, hindsight 2020, for us it was great because a lot of things did work out for us. But it was that layer of stress. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, like everything panned out perfectly and worked out. But you always want to like aim higher and be wanting to do a lot more, achieve more, or just even like chill more, like actually have a vacation or like be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor and stuff like that. So I really hope that y'all and us are able to enjoy. That's, that should be with 2023, like these past two years, 2020, 2021, 2022. I guess that's three. But anyways, y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. It has been like stressful. And I think we all deserve to just enjoy. Like have some moments of enjoyment and fulfillment. And I think that's what I'm going to make more efforts of. Like, D has been working really, really hard. I have been trying to stay on top of school and trying to manage content and stuff. And I'm gonna find my rhythm, but like, it's also time to enjoy because I don't even remember the last like road trip or like just, you know, I don't know. Well, we got to enjoy my birthday. That was really nice. We haven't done that in a long time. Like, got to sit down and eat. Um, yeah, you know, like 2023 is gonna be a good year. Okay, I'm speaking it into existence. If you come across this video and you're new or if you're not new, I'm speaking that 2023 is gonna be amazing for you, okay? I pray to God this is an eight minute video because um, I'm trying to get this I'm trying to get all this content out because now that I have more than 39 chapters to read, because that's just one class, I didn't even look. Oh my God. Y'all, now that I have like more reading on my plate, um, it's just forcing me to really, really, truly stay on top of my game. It's not like I don't know how to is just the discipline part. I will say that when I got out the military, like I guess discipline kind of went down a little bit. Just a little bit. And like, <laughs> I'm a procrastinator. Okay, let me tell y'all something about me. I'm a procrastinator, right? And when I was itty bitty, like in middle school and high school, I, this is weird behind my ear. I was in this um, this program called International Baccalaureate Program. IB program, right? It's a notch above AP classes. And I kid you not, y'all, not only did we have hours and hours and hours of homework every single day for seven classes, we also had like seven projects due every single week in every class, right? On top of getting graded for doing community service, on top of like being forced to do extracurricular activity, it wasn't an option, it was forced upon us, which is, which makes us a more rounded person, you know? But that is why like, that, that, like when it comes to schoolwork and balancing work and stuff like that, I, there were so many times y'all, <laughs> and don't judge me, there were so many times that I was doing papers and projects the day that it was due, right? And turning it in, literally like the morning of, I would start it because we had so much stuff to do that I would wait until the day of, and I still would get an A. And I guess that like bad habit has stuck with me so long, but it's not, if you're young, don't do that. Don't be like me, okay? Learn from me, don't be like me, okay? So I just wanted y'all to know that about me, I was an like IB classes, which is above advanced AP classes. And I was just swamped with schoolwork. So let's see how many, let's see how much reading I have for international business. Okay, so it's not as much 
I mean, it's still a lot. It's, it's still a lot. That was just module one. Y'all, I'm about to... Oh my gosh, yeah, it's it's gonna be a lot. But anyways, that's okay. I'm up for the challenge because I love learning. I love school. I just don't like writing papers and projects, but, and then trying to manage um, channels and stuff like that. I mean, I'm up for the challenge. This is what I've been praying for. So, I'm getting what I'm praying for. And in 2023, I'm praying for like some fun times. And I'm praying for my VA disability at 100%, hopefully before 2023. VA, I need y'all to get on that. But anyway, sorry for the frantic beginning. I am kind of stressed out, but it's good stress. It's, it's stress that will help me become a better person and teach me to really prioritize what's important versus what's urgent and stuff like that. Yeah, but all right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this so I can get this out to you guys later on tonight. And by then, you guys should have already seen some other like shorts and stuff like that. And yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. If you missed our live last night on Sunday, I'll link it here, either here or here. I always get it wrong. Anyways, I'll link it so y'all can go there or you can go in the description down below. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.